this is the, this is obviously the first session that we've had on the on the piece. This is all new to us. I mean, we've had the parts for a week or, or so, but um, this is the first time we've sat down with a conductor and done it. And it's a bit of a learning process, you know, for everything. I mean, it's going great so far. Uh, it's. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle with half of the pieces missing at the moment because, of course, it doesn't all fit together until the singers are there. But it's great to hear how the instrumental textures are coming together. And some of them are coming together first time, which is great. Uh, other ones we need to do a little bit of work on. But uh, so far, you know, the players have been great and they've been, you know, it's been very collaborative and cooperative and that's really what you need at this stage. What I'm really pleased about is, is the, 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 some of the sonorities, which of course, again, nobody's heard. Um, we play it through once, uh, the second time we play it and it's, it's, it's really well together and some of the sonorities are already, have already sounding really good without a lot of work. Since I am here, I try and take a back seat as much as I can and not interfere and not worry about balance and things like that at the moment because that's all for later. What I'm doing is listening out for things that may be less practical than they could be or, or uh, things that are perhaps um, causing problems where there needn't be any problems uh, and just checking that the players have understood the notation correctly and that they're happy with everything. Uh, quite a few of the things I'm constantly referring to and all of us are constantly referring to Michael and also to Stuart as to whether or not they'll work. Some things work better, other things don't and if we can just try and get the you know, what he wants through. I mean, for instance, there's one bit here where I've got endless pizzicato, which is sort of going and it's all fortissimo. And after a while, you literally get a blister. And it's also so fast that you can't get it to play very loud. So I was just, I was just talking to Stuart as to whether or not we should do it with a sort of a spiccato, sort of go, which is a bit like playing pizzicato, but it has a little bit more volume and uh, a clearer sound. You can hear more note. And it's also kinder on my finger, which is great. Like a lot of composers, they want to expand the sonic palette. And, and um, uh, the, one particularly interesting thing in this piece is the, is the, 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 the bottle imp. Uh, it's also a, a malevolent presence. So Stuart's imagined some, some, some appropriate sounds for the vision of this, uh, this, this imp. Yes, I'm quite excited about doing the harmonica at that point. Um, I've never really played one, but uh, vibrato and everything. I suppose I thought for a while about what would happen at that moment where the imp is revealed, and um, I knew I wanted it to be a, a strange sound world, you know, something a little bit malevolent, but in a small way, not in a terrifying way. So uh, I suppose I wanted things to kind of sound out of order, out of tune, um, reedy, you know, those sorts of things. Uh, so that's why I've got the unusual instruments like the bagpipe chanter, the harmonicas and the balloon. Uh, you know, some of those things they don't normally play, but um, having got the idea of, of the sort of sound they're making, they're making this, again, the second time was, was magical. The balloon sound, I mean, I mean we're still practicing that. It's, it, it, you know, we'll, it, it, it's maybe not quite what I was imagining, which is why I was laughing a bit. So. Uh, I'll work on that a little bit. It is a kind of passing on of the baton and I then have to give it to someone and, and entrust it to them. Um, and the same will go when we start the uh, production rehearsals with Matthew Richardson. They become his rehearsals and it becomes about what the singers are doing as actors as well. And actually Stuart's written this really well and that makes a massive difference for everyone because it also means that we can do what the composer would like. I really enjoy this kind of rehearsal because we're not under pressure and um, you get to talk to the musicians and you have a bit of a laugh and you know it, it's, um, it, it's good fun really yeah for me. <laughs> it bodes well for the piece um, and uh, yeah I, th I think we're going to have an exciting time in the next few weeks.